Hello lovely students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Galib's English School. If you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like and share. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Life in the UK Test, Chapter 6, The UK Government, The Law and Your Role. The major topics which I'm going to discuss in question and answer form, they are the devolved administration, election system, the UK and international institution, the law and the duties of police. So let's jump into it. Question number one is, what is the minimum age to legally buy tobacco products? So if you want to buy tobacco products in the UK, you must be 18 years old. Under age 14, 16, not allowed. Must be at least 18 or above. Question two, who was Prime Minister when Welsh Assembly was established? John Major, Tony Blair, David Cameron or Theresa May? So the correct option is Tony Blair. So he was Labour Party's um, Prime Minister when the Welsh Assembly was established in 1999 along with Scottish Parliament. Is the statement below true or false? Chief constables are independent of the government control. That is true question number four which of the following statement is correct countries must join the commonwealth if monarch commands it countries join the commonwealth voluntarily so this is a voluntary decision on behalf of the countries and they can decide it so option b is correct question five who can make a complaint about police so complaint about police is it only other police officers can do it only the chief constable can make a complaint, anyone or nobody. So correct option is C. Anyone in the UK can make a complaint against police force involved. Question six, which two of the following have the right to vote to elect members of parliament? Adults who have been granted an indefinite right to remain in the UK, adult citizen who were born in the UK, Adults who have been given visa to study in the UK or adults who are naturalized citizens of the UK. So you need to identify two correct options. The who are eligible to vote for the MPs or in local elections. So first one is option B who are born in this country and second one is option D who have been naturalized. Question seven, which of the following is a criminal offense? So you need to identify the situation or the scenario which can be considered as a criminal offense. Smoking in an enclosed public place, a shopkeeper selling faulty goods, unfair dismissal from someone's work, or a dispute over rent between a tenant and a landlord. So if you look at these three options, A, B, and C, they are all related to civil matters. Shopkeepers selling faulty goods to the customers, or if you've been fired, or you've been discriminated against at a workplace, a dispute over rent between a tenant and a landlord. So these three are civil matters. So we can call them civil matters. civil matters however if you look at the first statement that is a criminal offense if you smoke in a enclosed public place for example you smoke in a hospital airport in a school college whichever enclosed public building and there are some signs displayed no smoking allowed so if you do so it's a criminal offense question eight where must your name be recorded in order for you to vote in an election? If you want to vote in a general election or local election, your name should be recorded, whether it's citizens list, civil list, election list, or electoral register. So your name must be recorded in election. Question nine, which of the following statement is correct? You have two options and it gives you 
the definition. Civil law relates to crime which are investigated by the police or civil law relates to dispute between the people. So in the previous questions, one of the previous questions, we found three definitions of civil law where the civil matters between, for example, tenant and a landlord or some shopkeeper, they are selling faulty goods. So you can consider that. So you can easily understand that which one of the following statement is correct. So civil law relates to crime which are investigated by police? No. Civil law relates to disputes between people. So your option B is correct. Question 10. UK belongs to which two international bodies? So if we talk about international institutions, so we need to identify two of them. The Commonwealth, Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSDO, CSDO, the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, NATO. So the correct option is UK is the part of two international bodies, and that is Commonwealth and the NATO. Question 11. You should notify your local police station if anyone is trying to do which two. So you need to identify two. Whether someone is trying to persuade you to join a terrorist group, someone is trying to persuade you to change your belief, someone is trying to disagree with your beliefs, or someone is trying to persuade you to join an extremist group. So you can better understand that if someone tries to convince you to join a terrorist group or an extremist group, then you need to speak to your local police station. Question 12. Which of the following statement is correct? Scottish Parliament can pass laws for Scotland in all matters. The Scottish Parliament can only legislate for Scotland on certain matters. So this question is considered under devolved administration. We have Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So these three countries, they can legislate on certain issues, not all the matters. So option B is correct option. Question 13. Welsh Assembly is called Parliament, Provincial Assembly, Senate, or Congress? Welsh Assembly is called Senate. Question 14. When was Scottish Parliament formed? 1989, in 1999, in 2009 or 2019. Scottish Parliament was formed or established in 1999 along with Welsh Assembly or Senate. And that was done in Tony Blair's time, which was Labour Party's government. Question 15. Is the statement below true or false? It is legal to carry a weapon if it is for self-defense. Is it true or false? This statement is not true. It's a false statement. In the UK, you cannot carry a weapon even if it is for self-defense. So that's a criminal offense if you carry a weapon. What will you be given to vote before a general election takes place? So before a general election takes place in the UK, you'll be given a poll tax relief, a number of queue at polling station, a poll card, or a specific time for you to vote. So you will be given a poll card. On the poll card, it says your name, your address, and when the election takes place. And recently, they have introduced a new term that you need to keep your identification with you. So make sure when you go for general election or local election in the month of May, you should carry your photo ID. Question 17. Is this statement true or false? The UK has a free press. This means that what is written in the newspaper is free from government control. So this free press does not mean that you get newspaper or all the magazines for free of cost. No. This means that government has no control, no influence over media. So this statement is true. Question 18. 
Proceedings in Parliament are broadcast on TV and published in official reports. So whatever are the proceedings in Parliament House, whether it's question on secession of Prime Minister or some other proceedings taking place, so they are broadcast and the official reports are called, whether they are called press, media reports, answered, or parliament reports. They are called answered. Which two of the following cannot stand for public office? Guys, make sure when you answer the question, before you start answering question, you need to read it carefully. The which of them are not eligible to stand for public office? Doctors, members of the armed forces, teachers, or people found guilty of certain criminal offense. So correct option is that members of the armed forces, they cannot stand for public office, and people who are found guilty of certain criminal offenses, they cannot stand for public office. Question 20. Polling stations or polling place. In Scotland, we call it polling places. For rest of the UK, we call it polling stations, where we go to vote in local election or general election. They are open from. So what's the opening time? 5 a.m. until 8 p.m., 6 a.m. until 9 p.m., 7 a.m. until 10 p.m., or 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. So the correct option is polling stations or polling places. They are open from 7 in the morning until 10 p.m. Question 21. Is this statement true or false? The Commonwealth is an association of countries. Association of countries that support each other and work together towards the shared goals in democracy and dictatorship. Democracy and dictatorship. Is this statement true or false? So make sure when you are given a statement, you need to read it carefully and then answer the question. So is this true or false? This statement is a false statement. Question 22. What is the aim of the United Nations? United Nations aims to promote democracy internationally. United Nations aims to control climate change. United Nations aims to prevent war and promote international peace and security or United Nations aims to promote human rights. So the correct option is option C. United Nations aims to prevent war and promote international peace and security. Question 23. Is this statement true or false? Civil law is used to settle disputes between individual and groups. Is this true or false? This statement is true. Question 24. What is the job of police in the UK? Choose two options. So we need to choose two options. That what are the duties of police officers in the UK? To make a false statement, to protect life and property, to misuse their authority, or to prevent and detect crime. So if you look at all these uh, four statements, you can easily identify that which one could be the correct one. So police have two important duties. One is B, they are supposed to protect life and property. And D, they are supposed to prevent and detect the crime. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching.